Wow. No fanfare. Yeah. It no. feels yeah. weird. We're just getting right into it. Uh-huh. Court is now in session for... How do I say that? <laughs> Machi to buy, Your Honor. The pixie of the arpeggio. I mean... That's a... That's a the letter. pixie of the pregnant? <laughs> Is I... he gay or European? <laughs> <laughs> right, his <here's> trial. <clears throat> Court is in session. Man, you hate it when the judge can't even pronounce your client's fucking name, huh? And doesn't <laughs> seem to care to try. The defense is ready, Your Honor. The prosecution is a-okay, yeah, Judge. Mm -hmm. uh, very well, Prosecutor Gavin. Ah, my opening statement, yeah? Uh, no, no, actually, uh, there was something else I wanted to ask you about. Is he gonna say, how was your show last night? <laughs> it's about, uh, what was it? Maxbox Ribeye? <laughs> yes? Say you're what? going to visit someone in the hospital with an incurable disease. Where is this going? <laughs> what do you say to them? What? <laughs> Wes, has there been a death in the family? Or is there about to be a death in the family? Like, what? I don't know. My grandpa's always been pretty prophetic. And pathetic. Eh, ah. uh. I mean, you wouldn't say get well soon, right? No. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> You'd only be kicking them when they're down. Um, what are you talking about? <clears throat> Actually, I'm going to visit someone who's terminally ill. What is going on? <laughs> Right after this trial, the Chief Justice's son. The Chief Justice? His son is afflicted with a most terrible disease. He has ligma. What's he ligma? He doesn't have long, it seems. <sighs> so I thought I'd go pay him a visit. What the I fuck thought is saying going something on? Something moving might be the order of the day. Why don't grown-ups ever just say what's on their mind instead of pretending? Honestly, Trucy, this also, is one of those moments where I wish the grown-up hadn't said what was on their mind. Also, Apollo, what the fuck <laughs> is going on? Hey, what are you looking at me like that for? In any case, I'm a bit busy today, so let's wrap this up quickly. Okay, genuinely, chat, was that anything? Well, yeah, I'm so confused. Does what that, was the point of any of that? Is that either a setup for the fourth case in this game? No, I think it's just a random bit that indicates that the judge is interested in getting this over with fast. Uh, okay, um... That could have used a, uh, a not being in the game. Okay, no, people are saying it does come back. Okay. Oh, okay. 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 Well, okay. fine. Prosecutor Gavin, your opening statement, briefly. You're in luck here, Judge. I believe you'll be going on your hospital visit sooner than you think. Because I'm sending you there. <laughs> Call an ambulance! Call an ambulance! <laughs> but, but not, not for me. me! I love that fucking clip. It's so good. It's so good. First, to review the victim in this case. Romain Latous, age 35. The global manager for diva songstress Lamiwa. The cause of death? Blood loss due to being shot by a large caliber revolver. This report has all the details. Court accepts this into evidence. Yeah, bling, okay, well, let's move it. 45 caliber. That's quite large, isn't it? 
A direct hit from that could knock a man off his feet. However, the bullet struck him in his shoulder. The damage to the body was slight. Death was not immediate. Sadly, his blood loss was such that he could not be saved. Hmm. I suppose the victim's condition could have been much worse, considering. Speaking of can't be saved, the Chief Justice's son is Stop. not doing well. Stop. There is no chance that kid is going to live. God. Two shots were fired. <laughs> One shot missed, the other penetrated and passed through the victim's shoulder. Both bullets were found in the wall at the scene. Observe the diagram. This is where the bullets hit. I see. Uh, the court accepts this evidence. If we're talking about a 45 caliber revolver, we must assume that the killer was adept at the weapon's use. Really? Yeah, apparently weapons that size have a powerful kickback. If, say, the judge tried to fire one, it'd break every bone in his body. No, <laughs> no, no, it wouldn't. <laughs> he'd, he'd die on the spot if he shot that gun. <laughs> It would blow like, his arms clean off, Truce. Well, like, yeah, so 45 is powerful, but they're acting like it. Like, they're acting like it's, <laughs> like, like it's a mortar. Yeah, like it's a tank <laughs> crowd. He would <laughs> shoot this gun, and all the skin would fall off his bones, Trucy. <laughs> if you shoot this gun, they can hear it from space. <laughs> you will catch on fire. Instantly. <laughs> if you shoot this take... gun, a hole opens up in the ground and it sends you straight to hell. <laughs> if you take the shot with this gun, <laughs> they will shoot... blow up someone's head. <laughs> if you shoot this gun, you get kicked back so hard and fast that you go back in time to meet your grandpa. <laughs> The defense will take more care in choosing examples. <laughs> As I was saying, the victim was shot backstage in the dressing room. This dressing room has only one entrance, this door. That does seem to be the case, yes. However, there were witnesses who heard the gunshots. He's talking about you and Emma, huh? Yet when the witnesses entered the room, it was empty, save for the victim's body, of course. But that's... that's impossible! Exactly. This murder was impossible. Okay. For all but uh -huh. one person. Damn it, he got us. One person? That is, of course, the defendant! Matsi Tobai! Only this defendant could have committed the crime? But how? It's quite simple. The circumstances of the crime makes of the crime scene make it clear. Uh, very well, I assume you have testimony to back up this claim. Let the witness please take the stand. Your name and profession, please. Emma Sky. I'm a detective for the police department. I was on security detail at the concert forum that night. Emma seems tired somehow. Maybe because she's security at the concert, you say? Sounds like you did a pretty shit job. <laughs> Some well? security I was. Couldn't even stop a murder. Now, don't blame yourself. <laughs> Things like this happen. Oh, I've made even bigger mistakes in my career, you know. What? 
<laughs> Do you realize how many people I've let die? How many people <laughs> I've sent to sentenced to death that were innocent? That <laughs> Ah, the hours of sleep I've lost screaming in agony. Oh my God. It's actually none. I feel no remorse. Oh no. <laughs> I'm sure that makes her feel much better. I want to hear about these bigger mistakes. <laughs> In any case, because you were on security detail, the crime was quickly discovered. And we were able to identify the killer. You may give the court your testimony, if you would. Describe the circumstances of that day and your discovery of the crime, please. All right. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I... Murderous circumstances. The night of the murder, I was on security backstage, at Prosecutor Gavin's request. Only people involved with the concert in some way were allowed backstage. At the beginning of the third set, I heard shots. I went into the room filled with blaring rock music, and found the body. I examined the scene and determined that only the defendant could have done it. Wait. You did not do that when you first found the body. Yeah, I mean, I feel like... That last sentence is like, over time she did an investigation and that's her I'm hoping, I'm hoping so, because she's like, I went there and found the body. And then I decided only the defendant could have done it. Mm. Hmm. Was lucky that a detective was the first on the scene. But that door was the only way out of the room, right? Yeah, pretty much. Then I don't get what it. The... How can they say that Machi did it? That's like the third or fourth time they've done really quick, like the game. Skits yeah, they don't. The they, auto yeah, they, they, they auto, yeah, they auto like, forwards. I gonna read that that fast, like damn. Looks like we need a bit more information. Very well. The defense may begin the cross-examination. Uh, judging by that statement, I feel like we gotta press a bunch of shit, but... Uh, that certainly is what it sounds like to me. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Any murders, backstage, Gavin's request. Only people involved in the concert were allowed backstage. Uh, I'll just start pressing here and see if we can get something. We were let in, though. Objection! Fucking got him! Boom! <laughs> I didn't know about- I didn't know about that! I certainly didn't invite you. I gave the Fraulein special permission to be there. I wanted to see her again. Oh, boy. Did you hear that? We're officially involved now. Gee. I feel like we were officially involved when we got called to be... Yeah. Defense. Yeah, for real. <sighs> Gee. Great. Some other hangers-on tried to get backstage, but I drove them off. So no other outsiders were there, then. And then... Yeah, third set, I heard shots. I believe we were having a chat when we heard- when we heard the shots. You were the one chatting. I was eating snackoos. Hey! No snacking in court! Unless you brought enough to give me some. <laughs> And the, ju sure the, the judge who allows whippings and coffee throwings is apparently not okay with snacking. Yeah, he's putting Good his foot down on this one. He's got to draw the line somewhere. Come mm -hmm. on. <laughs> and you're sure the shots came from Lamiroir's room? Yes, absolutely. Hey, I'm the one being cross-examined here. Here, this will keep you quiet. Kadonk. Yes! We uh, got cut -locked. Thanks! I was getting hungry, actually. So, 
Whoa! Ah! Uh, he got a snack who, guys? So, how about it, Emma? No. We were right there. Hard to be mistaken about that. <laughs> Everyone get snack who's! Please, either talk or eat. Not both at the same time. <laughs> Apparently he's okay with snacks in the courtroom now. Yeah. Ah, right. So, after that, me and Mr. Lawyer there open the dressing room door. Mm, rock music found the body. Rock! Paper! <laughs> Blaring, yes. When you say rock, are you referring, perhaps... To igneous, to this... sedimentary, or metamorphic? <laughs> yeah, very good. To this rock and roll music that's so popular these days? That's right. We went into the dressing room. <laughs> okay, I'm fairly much going to ignore his question. Yeah, no, I, I can't. <laughs> Music was blaring over the speaker on the wall. I actually forgot about that. They pipe sound from the stage into the back stage into the backstage through speakers. That way people in the back can hear when they're supposed to be on stage. Did it have to be so loud? You don't listen to the Gaviners with your ears. I don't listen to them at all. You feel it with your entire body and soul! I always have the backstage monitors at full volume! That sucks, actually. I hate that. <laughs> yeah, no, I would hate that. <laughs> when we walked in the room... I don't want to go to this guy's concerts. The band was playing Guilty Love, I believe. Making it easy to determine the time of the crime. Mm. If you could hear that music playing... Then everyone on stage for that song has an alibi. Including myself. Yeah, no, anyway, one was gonna, no one was gonna accuse you of doing it, dude. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> I closed off the scene and started my investigation. Yeah, okay, yeah, this is the one where I'm like, what the fuck's happening here? How could you know something like that? As I said, it was clear from the circumstances. Listen. We know there was only one exit from the room. That door. The small window only opened a tiny crack. And I was standing in front of that door. So, how could the killer have fled the scene? There's only one possibility. The air vent. They vented. Sounds good. <laughs> ah... But, but that air vent was too small! Who could possibly- Oh. Exactly. <laughs> Damn it. There's certainly no way you could get through, nor me. Okay, well, again, Apollo is like five foot one, like it's fine. The only one who could fit through was a child. Uh, Trucy was there. That's true, <laughs> Trucy was there! Apollo, shut the fuck up! <laughs> We're on the same team here! Remember, access to those rooms was limited. Only those involved with the concert were allowed. And all of the people involved with the concert? Only one is small enough to be considered a child. The, the defendant? The pixie of the arpeggio flitted up toward the sky and disappeared from the scene of the crime. But, but that's just conjecture! Oh? There was no other way out of that room. You were there. You should know, Air Forehead. Don't we already know that someone ran past us at one point? Yes. Okay. Just made sure I remember that correctly. And there is another vital piece of evidence. Evidence? What? What's evidence? Marks were found on the air vent grill. What were they cooking? Traces that had traces that it had been recently opened. Wait. What? 
And something else was found. Quite clearly. The defendant, Machi Tobai's fingerprints. What? What? Order. 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 That air vent was the only way out of the room. The defendant's fingerprints were found on the grill. Well, Herr Forehead, what fairy tale does this suggest to you? Uh. Only one could pass through that vent, that doorway to heaven. And that one is our pixie. Why are you looking at me, Apollo? I don't know, sometimes you're, you're a helpful. child. <laughs> hey, I was out whooping it up in the audience. There was a whooper watch. <laughs> Wait, shit. So I was out fuck. whooping it Wait, up. Shit, fuck. You said it, Pridge. I gotta get it. Did somebody ask for a whooper watch? Oh my god, it's a whooper watch. What the fuck? Look at whooper these little guys. Whooper watch. <laughs> uh, okay. It's so good. It's just, it's one of the best things. It's so incredibly funny. God bless you, Game Awards. God bless for you, that Game and Awards. that alone. For that, for that, yeah. <laughs> for that and that alone. Oh. So this was his decisive evidence. Hmm. Quite decisive indeed. I know the circumstances under which the body was found. I was there. An examination of the crime scene was enough to nail down the killer? I'm sure they have a good reason. They must have had a good reason to arrest Machi. And I'm going to find out what it was! Wait, what? Oh, we should uh, actually read this. Death due to loss of blood from a gunshot wound. Time of death, 9 to 9.30. Blood loss due to four or five caliber. Time elapsed between shooting and death currently under review. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. Sounds like somebody's got to update this autopsy report. It's nothing. And this is the diagram. Based on this, would two of the shots gone into the wall? Because there's that little partition there. I don't, I don't know if that's what they're trying to get us to guess, but... I mean, it's definitely worth thinking about. Yeah. Because, yeah, the angle doesn't look right on one of them. I also don't remember how tall that partition was. Yeah, part of me is like, it might have been a half wall. I can't remember. Yeah, whether that actually cleared the entire wall. But, mm -hmm. I mean... Uh, this is the last thing we press, so maybe this is going to well, get us... Hmm? Oh, wait. Oh, we didn't press this yet? Yeah, we didn't press this, this oh, okay. first one. <laughs> The night of the murder was the night of the concert, yes? Apollo, you were there. <laughs> yes, Apollo. <laughs> That's right. What was a detective doing on security detail, might what? I ask? Why is this what you're asking about? If it was only a concert, why were you there, Emma? My thoughts exactly. But orders are orders, even when they come from rock gods. Prosecutor Gavin? Yes, allow me to explain. I smelled something that day, you might say. When something smells, it often, it often smells. smells. <laughs> the stench of conspiracy. What? At that day at the concert hall. Conspiracy? Well, isn't it obvious? My keys! That whole morning, no, the whole day was ruined! And it's all because someone stole my keys! I couldn't ride my hog to the show! I couldn't open my guitar case! There he goes again! Isn't it possible he simply misplaced them? Misplaced them? Misplaced items don't just wander into a murder victim's hand on their own! What's this? Prosecutor Gavin, if your keys were in the victim's hand, that makes you a prime suspect. We fucking got him, folks. Oh, he's jamming. 
<laughs> I was literally on stage, Eric dumbass. What the fuck? I d what is that word? A troquinine. A troquinine. Uh, I think it's made up. Okay. Because it's on the Ace Attorney wiki, so that tells oh, me that it's this not This is the real. only time this word has been used. Okay. None of these words are in the Bible. It is a synthetic <laughs> substance that is extremely poisonous to humans. Huh. It's, you know what it is? It's curare. Okay. There you go. Love, slow acting in you. A troconine is waiting for you. He's singing something. Does everything with this guy have to be so over the top? The killing happened in the middle of my concert. I was like a sailor adrift on a sea of sound. What? Anyway, I didn't want anything else stolen. So I put the detective with the most time on their hands on the Jeez. task. Damn. I see. I can accept that. Well, I can't. What do you mean with time on their hands? I believe that's enough of that. Huh. Prosecution has a rather convincing case. The only way in and out of the crime scene was watched. Making the defendant the only one who could possibly leave the scene. Simple and decisive. <laughs> I believe we've heard enough to determine our verdict. <coughs> Even if I wasn't in a hurry to make a hospital visit. I'm sure the Chief Justice will appreciate the gesture. Unfortunately, we have no direct witnesses. Fortunately, the criminal left decisive evidence for us. That will have to be enough. Uh, it can't be over already! Very well. I believe this trial is finished. If the defense has no contradicting evidence, the prosecution has presented our proof clear and plain. If you have contradicting evidence, it had better be clear and plain. Ah! Apollo! They've got us on the ropes already! We better come up with something quick! I know! I know! Think! What can get us out of this? We need evidence, or a witness, that can prove Machi is innocent beyond a doubt! Without that... Mr. Justice? Do you have contradicting proof that can overturn the prosecution's case? If you do, you'd better tell us about it now. This is it. And so soon. Apollo, this is not it. This is the first thing we're presenting in the case. This is not <laughs> it. This is it. It's loose here, baby. If I mess this one up, it's all over. The court wants contradicting proof. Uh, I imagine we're gonna call another witness, right? Yeah, call Machi. Well, Machi can't speak. Yeah, but... That way we're getting called as a mistrial? Oh. Prosecutor Gavin, you claim that there were no witnesses to this crime. Are you absolutely sure? Absolutely. I'd swear it on my career as a prosecutor. And on my million seller hit song, A Troconi in My Love. There he goes again. I appreciate you reading it with that exact cadence, French. That was good. <laughs> That's too bad. Because there was a witness. Ho, ho! Really now? But how, did, how did you come to possess knowledge the prosecution clearly does not? Because I am the only one in the world who knows this. What's going on? I just talked to him and now... He's alive! Mr. Latouse! Can you hear me? They're, they're, wow, they really are. They're really, it's so early and they're really hitting this. So cold. 
witness. You're cold? Don't worry, I'll turn on the heater. Help's on the way. Can't shit see. <laughs> I'll get you a laxative. Hang in there, Mr. Latouse. Tell me, who was the witness? Who was the shitness? <laughs> witness, witness is S Siren. Who? Never heard that word before. What? The victim said this before he died? Perhaps he did. And perhaps he did not. What do you mean by that? All we know is what her forehead says, he said. It's no testimony, especially since it comes from the defense attorney himself. But it's the truth! He said it! I even told oh, you well, about then it! I guess there is no problem then. <laughs> but apparently you ignored me completely! It's my policy to fully investigate everything I deem relevant. Clearly this rookie lawyer thinks he can tell me how to do my job. That's enough. Mr. Justice, we need clear contradictory proof from you. This witness of yours unknown to the prosecution. I hope you're right. Failure carries a stiff penalty. Perhaps a stiffer penalty than usual is called for? Video game, we know who we're gonna call. You don't need to threaten us with a double penalty. <sighs> I don't know. There's who no... do you think he was? Me he meant by the siren, though, Zach? The siren. No, we need to call Ghostbusters. Oh, that is who we gonna call. <laughs> There's no backing out now. Let's hear the name of your witness, Mr. Justice. Darian. The Virginian bombshell herself. <laughs> Lammy War. Call Mr. Latouse's last words. We can. You're wow. the only one who knows that, apparently. Oh my god. Fourth one. The witness is Siren. <laughs> <laughs> the siren? Um, he meant the siren! <laughs> <laughs> this sucks! This they is so dumb! It. They literally said it like that. That's incredible. <laughs> but this case is suffering from brain damage. <laughs> That's you know, like, right. God. The uh, siren. The siren. Let me war. Let me war was only on stage for the second set. And she had access to the backstage area. She could have been a witness. I see. Well, Prosecutor Gavin? <laughs> My claim still stands. There was no witness to this crime. Very well. Let's hear it from the horse's mouth then, shall we? Someone bring in the horse. <laughs> We will now take a break from Detective Emma Sky's cross-examination. Did you do it? Nay. Okay. Not guilty. <laughs> Not guilty. Please. That'll do it. You know what? Every time we ask the horse, the people get off scot-free. <laughs> Please show Lamiwar to the witness stand. Lamiwar would say nothing of the night. Would say nothing the night of the murder. Not today, though. Today we'll drag that story out of her, no matter what it is! Ellipses. It is my distinct honor to welcome the Siren of the Ballad to our courtroom. You are too kind. Uh, you can speak English. Yes. Yes, I can. Though I am not very good, there is much I do not know. You speak so well. Have you spent time here before? Actually, I do not know how I came by my knowledge of your language. That is a wild That's a terrible sentence. lie. Yeah. It's English, the most like 
Hey, it's in this situation, it's English, the most spoken language in the world. A lot of people just learn it. Yeah, you could just say <laughs> I watched fucking television as a kid. Like I took, <laughs> I took a couple classes in school. I don't know. I read a book. Yeah, yeah. I don't... Why would you lie about this? Nor where I studied it. What the? That was a fucking terrible lie. What does she mean she doesn't know? Can we can we use our thing to find out if she's lying about that yet? <laughs> I too thought to call her as a witness, but I did not. I had a reason, of course. What's that? Okay. I didn't want to. Lamiwa no. no. suffers from amnesia. <laughs> no! Oh, <God. laughs> sure. <laughs> Fuck off, game! <laughs> okay. I can't keep getting away with this. Okay. Yeah. No, sure. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Are you my long lost best friend from Japan? <laughs> Amnesia? Lamiwa. Is not my true name. Yet I remember nothing of the time before I was given it. Nothing of the time before I started singing on stage. Wow! She's even more mysterious than I thought! Yeah, it's not an act. I just don't remember anything. <laughs> <laughs> As lauded singer Lamiwa, she lives a good life. There are little difficulties for her, thanks to her success. Did it, didn't she tell us that she used to sing in restaurants? Yes. I is guess that, as Lemmy War. I was gonna say, is that post amnesia, or did she lie about that, or what the fuck is going I think on? That, I think it's supposed to be yeah. post amnesia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't think that's like a, a got her moment. Yeah. Yet. I did not wish to subject her to unnecessary stress. Hmm. I see. But this 15-year-old, uh, you just wanted to fucking throw under the bus. <laughs> I care surprisingly little. Oh, that's a joke still. <laughs> <laughs> you like my clavier accent? It's good. Wow, you're well. right. It's pretty great. I care surprisingly little about people's pasts. What the fuck? <laughs> I care surprisingly little about people. Okay. You have nothing to fear in this court, Lemmywar. Except my gross incompetence. <laughs> and my just general grossness. <laughs> I'm just gross. an unpleasant person. <laughs> Thank you. Yet there is something I do not understand. I am being called as a witness? What might I say? No one will tell me anything of what happened. Lamiwa, let me be frank. I know it's strange because I am normally clavier, but in this moment I am oh. frank. I did not want to ask you to up here to testify. Yet that young gentleman with the wide forehead over there was adamant that you stand. Oh my! It is quite a large forehead. God damn it! It's not that big! Congratulations, Apollo! You're the bad guy! I'm the bad guy! Duh! Uh. Well, now that you're here, please give us your testimony. Wait! The defendant? Like, the defense is the bad guy? Then we rush you to arrest him! <laughs> Guilty! If nothing else, the sound of your voice is welcome. Weird. Tell us what you saw the night of the crime. As for what I saw, I saw nothing. That night I was invited to sing on stage, and this I did. I did not return backstage after the second set. Then I was led by the police to Mr. Gavin's dressing room and told to wait there. 
That was where I learned that something had happened. But I wasn't told the details. Hmm. I think I got her ass on that. Hmm. I must say you sound wonderful just testifying. Is there... Never mind. I hope he was too distracted to hear what she was actually saying. There you have it. She saw nothing that night. Now we can only pray that the defense has the sense to admit defeat. You know who else saw nothing that night? Machi Tobaye! Because he's a blind 15-year-old! Stop accusing him! <laughs> this is ridiculous! And refrain from detaining her here and longer than need be. Wow! You just got better, Apollo! Way to go! Bad. Uh... Very well, Mr. Justice. Keep it short and sweet. I mean, War wouldn't talk to me on the night of the crime. She must know something, and I've got to find out what. Uh, really quick. Uh, Zach, you think you got her? I do think I have her. Uh, let me read a couple of the names. This is a big gotcha really moment? Quick. This is a big gotcha moment. Because I actually think this is a, a slightly tough one. Yeah, uh, as far as what I saw, I saw nothing. That night I was invited to sing on the stage, and I did. I did not return backstage after the second set. Well, that's interesting, because you would have worn the brooch on the set, huh? The brooch that we found at the crime scene? Huh? Mm -hmm. that, that's, that's an interesting coincidence, Slammy Why don't you tell us about it? Nice. Ooh, Feels good. got her. I'm sorry, Lemuar, but I'm having trouble believing you. You remember this brooch, do you not? Why, that's oh. Lemuar's. She was wearing it for her son. Oh, oh thank you for that confirmation, yep. Bavier. Yep, you just... Can I add that to the testimony, Prosecutor Gavin? What? This brooch was found after the murder took place. At the very scene of the crime! What? Lemuar! How did your brooch get backstage if you did not go there yourself? And as Prosecutor Gavin has just told us, you had been wearing it during your performance that night! <laughs> <laughs> that thing looks like a, a question mark when it's upside down. Yeah, that's, that's good. really like that. good! I love that. What is the meaning of this? Lammy Warrix, please explain. Lammy War? Die! <laughs> the fuck? She says English is quite difficult. The trick's not going to work here! Your forehead may be large, but you are a lawyer, truly. Don't, don't necessarily think those two things are related. You know what they say about large foreheads? Big but hats. You have... <laughs> More but sunscreen. You have missed... <laughs> yeah. But you have missed one important fact. What now? In fact, at the time of the incident, I went backstage, but only for a moment. What? Think back to the moment of the crime. Also, are we just accepting that Clavier is completely fluent in this language? Did we know that before? Seems kind of wild. No, but, but and also, I feel like it wouldn't be allowed for the prosecutor to be an yes. interpreter for somebody oh, yes. in a tribe. <laughs> Wild <laughs> conflict of interest on this a, one. A, a neutral third party. Yeah. A, yeah, not, yeah, a, a, a biased party being the only person who's able to confirm what someone is saying. Yeah, probably not the best idea. No. <laughs> Think back to the moment of the crime. You know whereof I speak. Is she really saying all that? <laughs> What's she talking about, Apollo? 
right when the incident occurred. Ugh! Is she talking about that? Watch this room for me. I have to call for backup. Oh, is she going to say that she came into the room, but because the wall was there, she didn't realize that the dead body was there? Oh, that's interesting. Right, understood. You want me to make sure no one comes in, right? Does this count as us seeing his dead body in a flashback again? Yes, it does. Mr. Latouse, can you hear me? No! <laughs> What temperature oh are you? They really do it for completely unrelated situations. You're cold? Guy, don't worry. This guy's like, please don't make me die anymore. <laughs> I'm, I'm tired, tired so of dying. I've died so many times. Uh, I want you to give a different... Let my soul, let my soul go to hell. Uh, Just all... let me die, please. <laughs> all I want moving forward is... For any, we don't have to do any all the lines again. Just this one, but with some, I don't know. Just put some other dumb delivery. You don't even ignore ignore the 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 periods, the ellipses. Just give me something. Okay. Every time. Okay. Yeah. yeah. The witnesses. It's siren. Okay. Okay. Porky pig. There you go. Siren. Coming in strong with Porky Pig. Yipes, Emma. What was that? Who's there? What's wrong? Emma, did you see anyone just now? Huh? No. I could have sworn I heard a door close. Oh. I looked into the room. Just a glance, mind you. So this was when your brooch dropped. That explains that. It does. There was no other time I could have dropped it. But that's ridiculous! You only looked in for an instant, but you dropped your brooch? Her forehead. She has raised the possibility. The only thing that can counter that is evidence. Hmm. So she looked in at the crime scene. Actually, I intended to go into the dressing room. I knew nothing of what had happened, of course. But the moment I opened the door, I heard a horrible voice. Her forehead shouting, who's there, no doubt. A horrible voice indeed. <sighs> I closed the door immediately. Well, that explains the brooch. Let's return to your testimony. That's too convenient. She's hiding something. Lemmywar, you did look into the room, though, right? Y yes Testify as to what you saw! Very well, though it was only the briefest of glimpses. This is finished. I went back stage for a moment. Oh, my... Oh, we're ready to bracelet. Alright! Uh, it's probably on this one because well, it's the new... This is the new line, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Give her the bracelet. She saw nothing. The late Mr. Latouche's body. It's either there, it's gonna be... Oh, I can't even go down to her hand, damn. It's just her face, then? We can't go lower. I'm trying to see if anything changed. Wait, go go to the right. Look look at her throat. Her throat? Like here? Yeah, to the left. Yeah, she's swallowing. Oh. Nope. <laughs> nope. Wow, good catch on that one, Wes. Holy shit. The late Mr. Latusa's body, you say? Yes. You know something more about Mr. Latusa's death than you are saying. What? I could see you trying to not remember, but the effort made you swallow. 
say, what a weird thing to pick up as a tick because that's just like that's just something people do. That's what yeah. you do when you're speaking. Yeah. <laughs> you can't fool my eyes. I think you tried to. It is true. It was so terrible after all. Why did Mr. Latouse have to be shot? One moment, Lemuar. Yes? What was that you just said? Why did Mr. Latouse have to be shot? Yes? She was hiding something! I knew it! Lemuar, I'm afraid you haven't realized it, but... Your words just now contradict your testimony! Huh? How could that be? Take this! Contra Lemuar contradicted her own testimony, and I have evidence to prove it! Uh... What the fuck did she just say? She said, why now did he he's... have to be shot? Oh, because he was behind the partition. Yeah, she wouldn't so have been able to see the Yeah, say, is this the partition? She yeah. wouldn't have actually been able to see the body. Yeah. If I did not God fucking damn it. the meaning of contradiction... It is you who contradict, Mr. Justice. Huh? Your evidence is meaningless. Uh, wrong evidence! Okay, okay, okay. Oh, I guess they're they're not they're not she didn't it's not about him her seeing the body, it's about her not knowing that he was shot. Yeah, I thought it was still with the same evidence though. You know what? It's a really good point, Bridge. Yeah, I, I, I agree with Pridge on that one. I think it's going to be this, because she shouldn't have been told that he was shot. But you're right. If she couldn't oh, see it, okay. she also wouldn't know. Yeah. That's a bummer. Tell me, Lamuar, how did you know he had been shot? Uh, well, I... Immediately following the incident, a gag order was placed on the scene. This is the document proving that. In your testimony, you told the court. No one told me anything about the incident. Uh. Furthermore, you testified that you had seen nothing. Yet you knew that Mr. Latouse had been shot. How could you have known? <laughs> yeah, the the way they twisted the the end of that was pretty wild. Yower? Yeah. Let me war. You aren't hiding something from this court, I hope. That sweet song of hers was sounding a little too sweet. Uh, uh now I remember. Please, allow me to add to my testimony. Of course. All we want to know is the truth. She looks kind of pale, huh? She saw something. I know it. Even the victim said so. Alright. Um, I think this is just one more thing and then we, we get past this part. And I, I think that's a good ending spot. So if you I mean, know. isn't this the diagram? Yes. Well, this no, because she could have seen the bullet holes. I Go. think. I think. Wait, we're what, argue did, what way did the door open? The door opens that way, so she wouldn't have seen him. Oh. 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 Wait, hold on. Yeah, wait, hold on. Check, hold on. Can you check. Can you check it again for me? Yeah. She. She wouldn't have been able unless she looked like came fully in. Yeah. And okay. Turned around. Okay. Gotcha! Yep. Lemuar, they call you the Siren of the Ballad. But lies are hardly becoming of such a creature. A put down worthy of our prosecutor, Mr. Justice. <laughs> such put downs are hardly becoming of you, Apollo. Stop polishing your forehead and stop polishing your character, yeah? Start polishing some. Come on! Can I be cool for once? Apparently not. Observe the hey, diagram. Listen. Hey, hey, listen, Clavier. 
later on today I'll be polishing something of yours, yeah, okay? Exactly. Lemuar, you looked in from the door for just a moment, correct? Yes, that is so. There were bullet holes in the room, yes. But they were in the wall the door is on. Uh. You see, assuming you merely glanced into the room, you couldn't have seen those bullet holes. Yar! <laughs> Labuar? Yes. I'm afraid the defense has raised a good point. <laughs> Somehow. You can't yark your way out of this one. <laughs> it appears Shit, you've sorry. been hiding something. Sometimes you say joke lines, and I just accept that that's what if the real text was. you think it's the actual... Yeah. It appears you've been holding back something. And I must tell you? Yes! <laughs> I must tell you what it is that I saw? Yes! Unless you want to go to Super Yes! The happenings in this trial are being recorded. And I'm certain it will be on the news in Virginia. <laughs> you understand your reputation is at stake? It falls to you to avoid tarnishing it. Personally speaking, I still believe that cross-examining her will yield us absolutely nothing. What? But she knew how Mr. Latouche died! And he named her as a witness! You must have seen something, Lamiwar! Very well. Lamiwar, please continue your testimony. Very well. Michelle. Hey. What I saw too! The sequel to What I Saw! If What I Saw was so good, why haven't they made a What I Saw too? Uh, well, folks, I think that's going to do it for another Ace Attorney with an actual lawyer. Again, Ooh. follow us on twitch.tv slash save the team. Watch this every Wednesday at 7.30 p.m. Eastern time on YouTube. And uh, please support us on patreon.com slash save the team if you can. Or go to etsy.com slash shop slash save the team. we got a bunch of cool things. You're going to like the way you look. Men's Warehouse. But until next time, stick around for art. <laughs> You're gonna like the way you look. Because court is You're gonna like the way you look when you watch Save Data. We guarantee it. Sure. James with him, shark coated characters are my weakness. Uh <laughs> I love I also love what you do with the text uh in the background. That's that's really, really cool. And yeah, this this rules. I, I, you know, Darian kinda seems like a, a punk ass, but I'm excited to to see more of him. <laughs> Uh, Emma Sky with Emma Sky cosplay. Ah, hey! uh, nice. I love this outfit so goddamn much. Emma is best girl, and I love her outfit. Who knew wearing a lab coat was so comfy? Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> you even have the, the luminol last... spray. That's incredible. The last picture is really good. I love that you wrote luminol. Yeah, you're drinking it. <laughs> <laughs> that's so good. Legally, Save Data does not endorse or recommend drinking luminol. Scientifically speaking. But this is really funny. Scientifically speaking. <laughs> Scientifically speaking, this is hilarious. Yeah, this is incredible. Uh, Neil Vessel with Hello. Uh, I've been working on a number of Omori Ace Attorney crossovers featuring the highest stakes moments in the series. I'm doing Bridge next, so I hope you'll be able to send it for next stream. In the meantime, enjoy Creepy Dorito Shit Troll and the gang. Yeah, I really want to play Omori so bad. Uh, Same. Uh, and this is really cool. I love how you use like all of the, the like, emotions that they do in the, in the game. And stuff yeah. Like that. It's it's really really sick. Hell yeah. Uh, Pinky with Happy New Year, y'all. I've got a bunch of stuff to be prepared. And so I recently came up with the idea for the Ace Attorney Swap AU, except it's not like Defense Lawyer Miles and Prosecutor Phoenix or anything like that. No, no, no. This is worse. I present an AU where the culprits from the original first games are lawyers working for the same agency. Here's my lawyer April May design. Some other people have drawn and are going to draw a few of the other characters. So if they decide Aww. to post here, y'all will see it too. I actually really like this. That's fun. Yeah. Yes. That's, hey. Yeah. I like her being a lawyer. That's a twist it's nobody cute. would expect. Also, she's very uh, fucking Elle Woods coded then if she's a lawyer. Yeah. She's, she's so... Just her having ah. like, hearts everywhere mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. is really adorable. Yeah. 
Very good. Very good. Yeah, I, love I like that a lot. Altran with, hey, first time on R for stream. I couldn't believe no one drew this amazing scene from last week, and I had to draw it because it's so funny to me. I can't believe Prosecutor Gavin actually burnt his guitar on stage. What a true artist. <laughs> Very good. Just distant German screaming. <laughs> and the, the expressions on these are really, really good, Altran. Uh-huh. <laughs> Uh, Reaper with, I did art for the culprit attorneys AU Pinky was talking about, and I drew Mimi Miney. I based her off of pre-accident self and gave her a vague occult aesthetic, hence all the red skulls. Ooh, I like it. And, uh, hell yeah, last two images are just slight references and jokes people made in his attorney chat. I also used Pinky's April May design in image three. Matthew, I'm a surgeon, not a therapist. Stop talking to me. <laughs> and I love her <laughs> ripping open a can of monster energy. And they are in love. Amazing. Yeah. Very, very cute. I love this. Uh, I'll turn as well with content warning smoking. Since everyone else is sharing their culprits as lawyer's designs, I figured I'd share my D. Vasquez as a lawyer design. Yo, this is also so good. Wow. I love this design. Holy shit. Yen, with the squares they are holding our CDs because we used to buy those back in the day. <laughs> Anyways, this is how Trucy got the money to buy all the gamut or stuff. Right. I came as soon as I could. Miles, aren't you supposed to be in another country or something? Trucy told me there was an emergency and had me wire her money. What happened? Uh, I don't know, but uh, what's... Uh, I don't know what that's about, but I'll call her. The emergency is I needed the entire Gaviner's discography. It's related to magic or murder right now. Yeah. I can't believe I watched someone die, and all I can think about is whether or not Gavin is wearing lipstick. Am I, like, a bad person? I mean, I think shitty thoughts every now and then, but... Listen here, forehead. I know it's been a tough night. I just think you should know. The main takeaway is, I didn't miss a cue. <laughs> I would never. <clears throat> God. Yes, it's a bit galling, but the man... But the main takeaway is... I'm a generous person. What? Oh my god, these album titles are so good! All cops are boyfriends? I think I need the discography too. It's an emergency, Miley. That's so funny! That's so oh. good! Hey Cam, all oh cops are boyfriends. <laughs> Also, Yen, I love you for ha feeling the need to have to add to explain what CD cases are. <laughs> Just really gets me. Really gets me good. Uh, these are incredible. <laughs> Thank you. Ghost Friend with all my recent Ace Attorney art is future game spoilers. So here's a Darian from last Inktober. I love this guy so much. Yeah. He looks cool with his hair down too, actually. I, I super dig it. Uh, the fact that you gave him a shark uh, tattoo and a jaw shirt is pretty pretty peak as well. Hell yeah. Uh, Mint Mango with Happy New Year's Gamers. Just some silly stuff for this week. My take on this meme. <laughs> uh, forehead, are you homophobic? I'm trans? He's avoiding the question. Can you stop fucking around? <laughs> also, I love that you drew Emma holding some luminol. Uh, and a little dude of my favorite magical girl. Yes, she counts. I mean, she absolutely counts. Come on. Are you kidding me? This is incredible. Yeah, I, I love this. This is great, Min Mango. Hell yeah. Map it and guard with Ola. The amount of art slash content made me slow down because I'm starting a new school tomorrow. Uh, I'm part Matt Pat. What about y'all? <laughs> My contribution to the Culprit Attorney's AU, I, of course, had to do Matt on guard. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. 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 Uh, doesn't know what he's doing. Incredible. Uh, in my adult Emma cosplay, these were taken when Zach's internet was failing. Well, yo. <laughs> also, I love like, I mean, maybe you're posting it elsewhere too, but I love the idea that you would feel the need to to half censor a middle finger, posting it in this Discord server. You're totally fine. Uh, also, good choice of snackoos. Sour Patch Kids, come on. Uh, Panic Pang with the fucking, the thinking meme of Siren. <laughs> Yo, you even, you even wrote it in, a uh, fucking Wingdings at one point. That's really good. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Oh, I love this. <laughs> Amazing. Ween with, I'm kind of in an art block right now, but digging through my old pieces, and I'm still so fond of these. 
Yeah, these are adorable. I love the little Thank shapes you. in the background. And all the expressions are so cute. A little bunny coming out of her hat. Yeah. The stars in Clavier's eyes. Amazing. This is awesome, Ween. And infamously dorky with wouldn't be making a return if I didn't draw an old man. I'm sorry. <laughs> wow. Wow, the line work on that is incredible. That's so good, Dorky. Yeah. yeah. I uh, and I, Dorky, I want to let you know. I I thought about uh, this the other week because I was like, I was like, oh, I feel like it's been a hot moment since Dorky sent some stuff in, and I was like, well, it's just because we haven't had old men in any of the cases yet. And I was like, <laughs> fuck, I hope there's another old man in this game that Dorky can draw. But I don't know. Uh. But please, you can you can keep sending us your old old men, uh, and we will we will happily accept them. 